Hello everybody, Thomas Nexter here, and welcome back to Cradle. In our last episode, we just got out of a mini game in this thing, and we got ourselves a breathing module because our robot lady friend in our hut uh, is having issues because she needs to breathe, even though she's a robotic body. So let's get to getting. I don't know whether this would be useful, but there were people that were dubbed outsiders. For whatever reason, they sought to spread the sterility virus. They were the reason the virus became a global scourge. But how they did it, or why, that I do not remember. Well, those outsiders really need to die. I mean, why would you want to make humans sterile? And now we gotta figure out how to get ourselves out of here. And this is... Over here is where we got in. And... I gotta go hunting around for a way out. But since there was a plank on there, hopefully whoever made that... Created a way out for us. No. Goodbye. you. Good. I have to figure out how to get out of here. There's gotta be something near this fence. I was I probably already looked right at it and didn't know it. Is this something? No, no nothing really to get me out. What's this thing tied to? Some sort of thing, okay. So I could have used that to get out. But no dice. It means anything. This one of them is bent at a weird angle here. They seem normal up there. You something? Can I climb here or something? No. I'm not that lucky. Wonder what is the makeup of this sterility virus? I mean, there had to be some sort of way for it to spread. There you are. Oh, you can go right through things. Looks like there's an anchor point here that the balloon broke. I well, a balloon broke. Can I go up this? I can. So what does this do for me? Crap. Well, the exit has to have something to do with this fence. Like how we got in. 
Sorry if I'm repeating myself. No, I don't want you. Hold on. I've just walked around this entire place. And I got nothing. Could be something inside I could use? It's not this creepy face thing. here and see what happens. Oh. It's all out of order. Can I go up this one? Oh, yep. Probably have to be back here later, but... How does one get out of this compound? And I fell. I died. There's gotta be some way of getting out here. Radioactive? What the? Okay. It should make a confirmation gesture after the beep. Maybe I can go up here and see. One here. What's causing me to just black out and show back up? Am I a robot? That'd be an ironic turn of events if that's the case. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. Find a way to exit the territory of the complex. Not giving me any hints here. This 
swear this answer is staring me right in the freaking face and I'm not seeing it. Can I make this? Nope. Well, they sh wouldn't make it too difficult to find, would they? Can I grab that? No. No, I don't like you. But this is a collection of trees like it was over there. Trees like it was over there. But it's structured like I could put stuff here. Like if I had some boards and stuff, I could build a ramp right there. Is there boards and stuff over here that I can use? Got some. You can't get me up here. There's another cluster over here, but that's on the outside. Sorry if this is boring, guys, but it's like it's not giving me anything to work with here. It's almost guaranteed it got something to do with a cluster of trees like it did in order to get us in here. Is this not my answer? No. At least this is nice weather in the game. Nice day for this guy to be trapped here. I don't know if he needs food or what. Not.
Oh, there you are. So another trip around the complex down. And still not any closer to getting out. Be right back, I guys. Okay, I'm back. I figured out what I have to do. Or at least roughly, anyway. What's this thing? That's one way to do it. Uh, can I get out now? Yay. Now I gotta head back home. But oh, sorry. Connect the breathing module to Ida. So oh, there's our tree. So that means we're probably over. Sorry if I'm lost, guys. There's our hut. Here I am being dunce as a doorknob. Did you bring the module? Yes. How do I install it? There should be a pipe inside the chest. A trachea. The air passes through it, so you need to connect the module to it somehow. All right. Come on, this is your chest. It should be able to. Don't mention it. Go back up. I'm breathing. How goes your search? Did you find the password? Not yet. But I did remember a bit about myself. I used to work here at the Gerbera Garden as a teacher, I think. I remember kids being brought here to watch a show. They would then play in the pavilions, carry body parts from there, and pile them up by the stage for some reason. What an odd amusement park to build. Strange indeed that it was built here. There's something I don't understand. You said it was abandoned, but it's still operating. It's got power. Why wasn't it taken down? 
There is an explosion. It's full of Good some question. poison. Do you remember anything about that? Um, I think I know what it was that exploded there. Disparatoxin. That was on the What's signs that? that were around That's there when I circled it, the trying to get in. Which the virus came into being. The epidemic began after one such explosion. One? You mean there were other explosions? Several hundred, all across the globe. Jeez. Why would you store disparatoxin Who carried in out the hundreds of places? Of Remember I was telling you about the outsiders? The explosions were their handiwork. Were they terrorists? What was their goal? No goal to speak of. They weren't even doing it on purpose, really. Simply, sometimes their passium capsules would explode in their chests, spontaneously. The emotions generated substance was the cause. What was wrong with it? It had a dangerous component, bitter passium. It's a kind of dark liquid which may suddenly turn poisonous and explode. Those people were carrying a bomb in their chests. It wasn't their intention to massacre thousands of people and strip the entire race of the ability to procreate. But that's what happened. So it's not their fault, but you're blaming them? Why? But how are they different from the others? Genetic defects. The more defects in the DNA, the more bitter the passium becomes. Outsiders were at once pitied and feared. Nobody wanted to live next to a time bomb. Many outsiders left their hometowns. They didn't want to cause anyone trouble. So that's why they were called outsiders. They were called all sorts of things, including lower class and ugly people. I still remember the slogan. Protect society from the emotions of ugly people. What an unexpected problem for society. But not the only problem. Living in an M body requires fuel, and fuel can only be obtained in exchange for sweet passium. Provided you have it, which the outsiders did not. They were unwitting spongers. What is sweet passium? That's the valuable substance produced by beautiful people. I told you about it. In reality, sweet and bitter passium are two parts of the same substance. Everybody produces both components with their emotions, only in different proportions. People with purer DNA end up with more of the sweet stuff and less of the bitter, and vice versa for the outsiders. Beautiful people are therefore valuable, whereas ugly people are dangerous. So where did the outsiders get the means to live? They were issued poor heredity assistance from the Public Rescue Fund. The fund was founded and sustained by a special tax that was levied on all the citizens. First and foremost, on the beautiful elite. A lion's share of the reserves went towards supporting ugly people. Thus, they became a constant headache, not only spreading the virus, but also draining the rescue fund. Those ugly, poisonous spongers. It was their emotions that were poisonous. Uglies are dangerous merely by living and feeling, in that they deprive the rest of any hope of returning to the way things were. I remember all the heated debates, the frantic search for a solution. And did they find it? Yes, I think so. The committee proposed a hibernation program, putting the uglies to sleep. Come again? Uh, what kind of sleep? What kind of sleep are you exactly? A voluntary shutdown, a temporary one until the virus is destroyed. And many of them agreed, realizing it was the best option they had. I don't know whether it helped or... Hold on. What? The password. I think I got the right one. Yes, I'm in. I see the files. I'm trying to find info on the employees. It should have my data as well. You've got strange eyesight. Why is that? You see virtual files. I wouldn't refuse regular eyesight either. It's all dark, but I can't figure out what's broken. The screen on your face. It's broken. It's called a look screen. And yes, it's damaged. Might there be a working one at the Gabara Garden? 
It probably is, but it won't recover my sight. Something is up with my lens, and the garden wouldn't have those. Nor do I know where to find them. I suppose I'll look for a lens then. Where? In the field? There's nobody around. What was that? Don't know. I'll go check it out. In the meantime, I'll drop your chest here. I actually threw it, but... Well, well, unfortunately, this is all the time I had for this episode. We'll go to that tram next time, and... If you liked the video, like it. And if you subscribe, if you liked me, next time...